Good afternoon, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. I was hoping they're going to look at Lion again. Boy, it was steaming some really black steam oh, a few hours ago. I was hoping they're going to move the camera to that location, but they haven't. Um, seeing the darkened steam earlier, I knew there was an earthquake coming, and it did. There was a magnitude 1.79. USGS has not reported that earthquake. They are only reporting five earthquakes within the last 24 hours. The most recent was uh, Chalice, Idaho, a magnitude 2.4. Um, that was, let me show you, within the Trans Chalice Fault Zone. This uh, fault zone moves all the way up into Canada. And we'll move it in a little bit and I'll show you. Yeah, there's been quite a few earthquakes lately in that area. Okay, so that's the earthquake, and you can see we got a, it was actually a 4.1 that was reported um, in April of 2003, and then there was a 3.3, um, that was this month, on the 6th. There was a small swarm, and I decided to line up the different earthquakes to see yeah, for a possible fault zone. But anyways, uh, this 2.4, that is the uh, last earthquake that they reported. And that was at 6.55 a.m. local time. At 12.05 p.m. local time, you can see we got this earthquake right here. It shows up on three different monitors. Um, this signature here on the right for Maple Creek is actually the strongest signature this one here for the borehole uh that would be the borehole for the uh norris geyser basin let me make this bigger and this is the last earthquake that really shows up on all the monitors and i'll bring it down for you okay and it comes in as a magnitude 1.79 it's been relatively quiet but when I start seeing the dark steam, yeah, I know they got earthquakes coming because the dark steam means that the magma under the ground is moving up, ascending, and it's actually getting hot enough to melt the rock. So after that earthquake occurred, it kind of calmed down. The steam was a little bit lighter, but I noticed it's starting to get darker again. And I was hoping they'd move it back to Lion because that was really, really dark. Yeah, but you can see here we got the dead trees. These trees uh, grew up within the... Oops, I moved the camera again. Probably getting ready for another eruption. Anyways, they grew up within the last 200 years during the quiet period. And, um, yeah, the gases coming up, the toxic gases coming up from the ground is killing them off. And they're looking at Old Faithful, and it looks a little dirty. Yeah. And the crowds are starting to form. So we got slow moving tremors. You can see that right there. We got a series of them going on within the last two hours. Yeah, quiet tremors. Yeah, let's make that larger. Yeah. Yeah, so for the borehole for the Norris Geyser Basin, Borehole 950. That shut down shortly after the earthquake. Uh, next to it is Holmes Hill. And second from the right would be Little West Thumb. You can see here we got a period when nothing was recorded. I don't know what was going on there. And then this one here. Let me bring it up. Um, again, this is Maple Creek. You can see we probably got two marked in red so let's check this one out it's a small micro quake um comes in as a magnitude 1.22 and then we got another one right there which is two quakes see that okay and these would be like i said none of these are being reported this first one would be a magnitude 1.32. 
And then the second one would be uh, a 1.53 possibly. Let me look at the signature. Yeah. Let's see, there's another small one here marked in red. Yeah, slow moving tremors. Let's take a look at the spectrogram. Yeah. Yeah, and see how it goes into, yeah. Slow moving, quiet, volcanic earthquakes. Let's, let's extract that. Yeah, see volcanic earthquakes. And we'll make this other one larger too. Again, volcanic earthquakes. Like I said, we got magma rising up. We'll more than likely have more earthquakes. Yeah, taking a peek back at Old Faithful again. I did post earlier today. Um, when it went off and it was nice and clear. It wasn't a very large eruption. It was a small eruption compared, you know, they grade them either small or large. And that one I would have considered a small eruption. It didn't have the height on it that um, the large would have. Yeah, and the camera keeps stopping and going, stopping and going. Looks like it stopped. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. We'll check back in a second. Yeah, you can see it's kind of dirty. So at West Thumb, just before they shut off or whatever happened, stopped recording, um, there was a popping of the ground. Yeah, look at the heat that came up with that one. Let's take a, well, it's just a several popping. Yeah, the, the fault just, yeah, decided to rip open there. Um, this is what they call being clipped. And they do this on purpose so that if there's another earthquake on the line above or a line below, um, it would not interfere with what they could see. So, yeah, it's kind of squared off at the top. But, yeah, and then then they turned it back on while we got over here. I'll have to make that bigger. Yeah, let's take a look at that. Yeah. Now, see, this is sharpened points. This would be the fault line. Yeah, moving. Okay, we'll take this one down here. We have another small earthquake. It's not marked in red, but it is volcanic. And we got quite a few down here that was just popping away. Pop, pop, pop. Yep. Yep, slow moving tremors. Long duration. Look at that. Yeah, volcanic tremors. This one is marked in red. Volcanic tremors. Let's take a look at the spectrogram. I'll have to make it smaller first. And we'll come over here and take a look at the spectrogram. Yeah, you can see the heat coming up. And that's deep. That's a deep earthquake. And you can see the uh, heated water and the gases rising up. Let's come down to when I... Just pulled the files a little while ago, what it was showing. Yeah, okay, we got another slow moving tremor there. Yeah, see that? Can I make it bigger? Let's check it out. There you go. Okay, and we'll extract that. Yeah, volcanic tremors going on today. Magma is constantly on the move. And as you know, oh, look at that one. As you know, those have been following me. Um, it comes up from the plume, and then it gets to the crust of the earth where they got that rhyolite cap, and it's been spreading out horizontally. Most of the magma it has been looking uh, like it moves towards the west. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, interesting signature. Let's look at the spectrogram. Yeah, see we got one, two, three. We got dike intrusion. That's what's going on there. Got a crack. Yeah, okay, let's extract that. See, volcanic. Yeah, the magma's moving today. Yeah, what else we got here? Okay. I'm not surprised. Well, one, that we're having earthquakes. Um, It was raining, it's been raining. And, oh, look at that little signature. Um, Lubricates the cracks on the ground. Helps open it up so the magma can come up more. Okay, but it's under pressure. Magma's like a beach ball full of air. 
it just naturally wants to rise. Now this is the borehole for the Madison River area, borehole 950. So it's not picking up any noise from outside. It only picks up what's going on under the ground trying to find this. We got a lot of popping going on here trying to find those. Yeah, see the gas is coming up. Yeah. Uh, looking around, we got a lot marked in red. Yeah, a lot of them. Try and find them. It's probably up there. No, nope, right there. Right there. Let's close this out. They're so little. Let me go to the seismic signature when I... Okay. Yeah, see, pop. And got another one, pop. I'll make that bigger. Okay, let's make it bigger. Okay, yep, yeah, popping. Let's see, we got one there. Do, is it there or is it there? Oh, it's right there. Okay. And another one right there. This one here is marked in red. Yeah, we got, let me pull that. Harmonic. Yeah, with, um, yeah, the plate, the popping. Like I said before, it's, it's getting so brittle where the ground doesn't bend. Um, and it just pop, pop, pop. Can you see all these little ones marked in red? It's hard for me to even see them. So you might not be able to see them. There we go. Hard for me to find them even. Yeah. Again, this is the bore hole at the Madison River area. Here we have Holmes Hill. We got one marked in red right there. And we'll go to the seismic signature. And see volcanic tremors. More, lots of volcanic tremors there. Look how long it lasted. Yeah, it starts out there and just, yeah. And then over here on the right, there's some more popping going on there. I only pulled the files going back um, 24 hours. What we got here? Yep. Just more of the same. Now we got one of the geysers going off back over here. I don't think I've ever seen that one going off in the past. Yeah. But up over here it's dirtier. I've talked about how here along the uh, Firehole River. Now they're moving the camera. It's got a, like a, a dam of um I'm watching this here basalt why'd they move it there oh okay anyways it keeps the heat the magma from flowing from uh mallard lake resurgent dome this is all the mallard lake resurgent dome here when i posted the uh, video earlier this morning of the guys are going up i had a smaller frame of view and um someone says are you sure that's old faithful going off where's the people well the people were off on the right and down below where i was um watching yeah so that's all i have for you yeah there it goes yeah we're not going going um steaming a little dirty yeah we'll probably have some more earthquakes nothing really significant i don't think um, because the steam isn't that dark. Probably just some microquakes and things like that. But I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoy your Sunday afternoon. Always be prepared for disaster. Yeah, any volcano can go off within 10 minutes with no warning at all. And we do have magma coming up. Yeah, rising. Um, but the indications looks like it's all right for now. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. <coughs> God bless you. Bye.